20-year-old Irish wonder kid Gavin Bazunu is today's topic. I am Stephen FM. Welcome back to the Football Manager Blog channel. He is a goalkeeper contracted to Southampton, apparently just moved there this season, uh, was at Portsmouth previously out on loan, I believe, but he looks like he is going to be phenomenal. With aerial reach, command of area, he's got a ton of 14s, he's got handling and reflexes of 16. He looks like he's going to be a f fantastic goalkeeper for the years to come. We're going to take a look at his future stats in just a minute. But, I mean, he's got a lot of 14s, some 13s. He's looking great. Uh, concentration of 8, not great. Leadership of 7, not the greatest. Especially, I, I like having leadership in a goalkeeper uh, if you can. Physically, he's got some 13s in there. Acceleration of 12. I mean, he's going from one side of the box to the next. Hopefully, he doesn't get chipped from the half line, so he's not going to be booking it back. But, I mean, overall, so far, I'm enjoying the stats. I think definitely I would scout this kid uh, and see how he grows. I can't wait to see the next 10 years and what he looks like. Milestone-wise, as you can see, made his senior club debut for Shamrock Rovers FC, relegated from Sky Bet League One. So it doesn't say that he's moved anywhere. So from 2018, jumps all the way to 2021. So we'll see that after the quick break. But relegation from Sky Bet League One, first international cap against Luxembourg at age 19. Relegated from League One and international cap already. That's crazy. Irish Player of the Year twice for Man, one for Man City, one for Portsmouth. I'm going to assume it was the same award, just he was at different teams. But he's looking pretty good so far. Let's scout ahead and see what happens in the next 10 years. Well, 10 years on, he is 31 years old. He's sitting in Borussia Dortmund right now, not for sale, making 115K per week until the 2035 season as an important player. His stats are really nice. I mean, eccentricity, punching still hasn't changed at all, but throwing reflexes, one-on-ones, handling, and aerial reach all in the greens, jumping reach of 16, determination of 16. He's got a lot of fantastic numbers. Now, I fully admit, when it comes to these player profiles, I don't fully know all the stats and how they interact with each other, uh, within the game at least. So from my standpoint, he looks like an absolutely golden goalkeeper that I would highly suggest scouting and seeing how he grows. To me, he's looking pretty nice. Granted, DFB Pokal, he played one game, an awful game. Is that a 5-9? But UA for Conference League, 11 appearances, 714, not bad. But Bundesliga, 28 appearances and 696. So, I mean, again, the biggest problem with goalkeepers is that they hardly ever reach, or at least rarely have I seen them reach 7 on an average rating. You know, they may see a 7 or an 8 in a game. An 8 is really rare for me. But you'll see them at a 7 or 7 point whatever in a game. But as an average rating, it's usually below 7 for me. It's everyone else on the team that I look for the sevens and above. But, I mean, so a 696, I think is a fantastic result right there. But stats-wise, you know, flair of eight, leadership of nine. He's not going to be the leader of the team. Aggression of eight uh, isn't great. Concentration of 10 kind of worries me a little bit. But the numbers themselves, to me, are pretty nice. I would definitely scout this kid. And if you can, and he's not too expensive, pick him up. Career stats-wise, though, Shamrock Rovers is where he started out. Only made four appearances for them. Bought by Manchester City for 425k. Uh, loaned out to Rochdale, which is where he first saw his major action. 29 appearances right there. Back to Man City. Loaned out to Portsmouth for 44 appearances. A fantastic set there. Then bought by Southampton for 14 million. So it basically looks like Man City picked them off, picked him on, kind of developed him a little, and then sold him off for a little profit. Southampton. Not great that first season, 18 appearances, 30 allowed, 6-3-8, but immediately picked it up the next season, 46 appearances, 7-0-2, uh, dropped down a little, 6-7-7, not the greatest, 6 5 6 3 wow, he really dropped it down the last couple of seasons, but picked up by Bayern for $7 million. and then only made, I mean, it's, it shows he was there for basically two seasons, but only made, you know, five appearances the first season, 16 the next, 6-9, 6-9, so not too bad. Moved off to Borussia Dortmund for $24 million, has done a pretty nice job there. I mean, it looks like Germany has treated him fairly well. So I still don't understand why Milestones, they don't show all the, the sales and all that. 
Uh, but he was loaned out to Rochdale, as we know. He was loaned out to Portsmouth, as we know. But bought by Southampton is not in there. I wonder, did they change things and they're just not doing that anymore? But you can see 2023-24 Skybet Championship Golden Glove. 2024 Irish International Player of the Year runner-up. Irish Young Player of the Year runner-up. Uh, 2025 runner-up again. So he's got some, I mean, they're not kind of, I guess, silver medals there. Relegation to the Premier League with Southampton. DFB Pakal winners with Bayern. Bundesliga champs, as you'd expect. Two seasons in a row. Uh, no more actually individual trophies, but you know, see, there's bought by Borussia Dortmund, 19 million. I don't get it. And Byron, so whatever, but it looks like he's got some trophies in the cabinet, uh, that he had a somewhat of a role to play in, but not really a lot of individual ones since he's moved on from Southampton. Injury wise, I don't expect a lot of goalkeeper injuries, at least from what I've seen. However, I mean, you can see he's got really nothing. He does have a major and a moderate before the, before the save even starts. He's got another moderate, pulled knee ligaments in there in 2025, minor and a slight, and that is it. So it looks like he's looking pretty nice, even though he, I mean, I don't know if things have happened at Bayern. Uh, he probably wasn't a first choice there. He's probably, as an important player, probably first choice or somewhat first choice here in Borussia Dortmund. We're going to see when he retires and if he gets any more game time. Well, as you can see, it is 2039. His contract expires in 18 days. So this is when he's going to retire. He has dropped a little bit in the goalkeeping range, but still, I mean, 15s to 18 is fantastic. Never got the punching tendency. Hmm. Eccentricity is four, uh, but physicals are way down as you would expect. He's rated at three and a half to 10K, making 43K per week as a backup, but 236 appearances in 20, and 255 conceded. Southampton was 212 and 20, 266 conceded. So uh, he's, I mean, he's got a, had a good career and has found a home in Germany, but 37 years old, 152 caps for the Irish team, looking pretty nice. And even here, you can see Europa League, five appearances, 668, not great. Bundesliga, 13 appearances, 685, not too bad right there. Uh, but yeah, plans to retire in 2039. Just quickly, you can see the season stats. Uh, I mean, still Germany, six nines right here, six seven right there, six eight five. So, I mean, overall, I don't think that's too bad, especially 13 appearances. He's not playing regularly. So, six eight five, I definitely don't fault him for that. Uh, but I think he's had a pretty good, I mean, as a goalkeeper, a pretty good career in Germany. Milestone wise, he did get 2033 International Player of the Year, third place. Uh, seasonal best 11s and all that. UEFA Europa League winners with Borussia Dortmund. DFB Pokal winners with Borussia Dortmund. And then inducted into their overall best 11. But that is it for milestones. And that is it for Gavin Bazunu. He looks pretty nice, I have to say. I would definitely pick him up if I can. If I can. Uh, and I would suggest you at least take a look at him. Put him in your scouting books and see how he develops over your career. Again, negative 8.5 potential. Could be anywhere from 140 to 170, I believe. Uh, and that's just at the top. So even most players don't even reach their top possession uh, potential. So it could be 130. It could be 150. Who knows? But that is it for Gavin Bazuno. I am Sefian FM for the Football Manager Blog Channel saying thank you as always for watching. Take care and enjoy.